what's going on guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we have a crazy video a crazy video i'm actually hyped for it i'm gonna do my first case study for this winning product now before i show you guys what exactly the product is let me give you a little backstory because it's actually really funny so i was going on pp ads and scrolling and looking for products and i found this product for some reason it caught my eye the eye for good winning products are getting better and it wasn't too like it wasn't done a lot by other people it was you know i think the most view was like 25k views which is not a lot especially for paid ads so i was thinking like this could potentially be untapped or it could be a, a pure flop so I send it into my my um, VIP mentorship group chat that all my mentors are in. I say, is this a good product? They say, yes, it's actually a very good product. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to run it tomorrow. Okay, so that was today. Then I fucking, so my mentorship is Anthony Eclipse. I don't know if anyone knows that, just to put it out there. I go see on a fucking Instagram story that he posts it, the same product on the Instagram story, after I, I, set, I, I set up the website and everything's ready for tomorrow. And today he posts on his Instagram story that he's gonna do a YouTube case study for it because he thinks it's a good winner too. I'm like, there's no fucking way. There's no way. Like, I'm actually getting nervous now because he could have just kept it to himself. I'm not saying he copied, I'm sure he, he knew this product a bit you know, without me fucking sh showing in a group chat. You didn't even see my group chat yet. But it's like he posted on his Instagram story. So I'm sure now a bunch of people are flooding to this product now. And I'm fucking like, oh my gosh, if I would have posted it just a day earlier. So right now I'm actually working on the ads. Let me show you the product. It's this curling define brush. So basically, it's just a regular brush, but the way it's designed, it defines a girl's curls and it makes the curls bouncy and stuff. And when I saw this, I thought it was perfect because from my experience with girls, I don't have a lot of experience with girls. Let's just put that out there. But, you know, with previous girlfriends or sisters, I always understood that girls are insecure about their curls. They all... Every time girls have curly hair, they always straighten it. They're too insecure about their curls. So I said, this is fucking perfect. I'll fucking target their insecurity, making it not only making their curls very beautiful so they can feel confident going out with their curls, but it's also easy. You don't have to heat it up. It's just a pure regular brush and you just comb it. I thought it was fucking perfect. So... I'm actually a bit nervous now because I'm thinking this guy's going to outbid me. A bunch of people are out going to outbid me because now everyone's going to start flooding. But we are one of the first people on this product. The, the website's ready. We're just looking to make the ads right now. I'm going to show you the ads when they're done. Or I'm going to show you one of them. And... Um, fuck, I'll keep you guys updated, bro. I'm like, fuck, bro. I'm so like speechless right now because at least, at least my eye for products are getting way better. Way be When I first started, I sent them 30 fucking products. They rejected all of them. Now, I, every time I send them one, it's, they're like, yeah, it's actually really good. Try, 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 test it out. Test it out. So I'm actually hyped to see how this goes. Now I'm going to put extra work into this. Like now, since I'm a day behind, I have the full day to just add the little details that could potentially make this even better. So like I said, changing the hook, editing the copyright, uh, the copywriting to target their insecurities, um, making sure the offer is the best offer they can fucking get. I don't know. I got to do something. This is a potential good winner and I'm excited that I'm documenting this now. I don't know when this video will come out because if this thing's making me bank for months, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be only posting this after it's done. So and if it's a flop, you get this next week. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. I'm actually really hyped. And I came, my first case study, you guys see the in-depth me working directly on it. And it's on TikTok ads. I'm not that experienced with TikTok ads, but we'll see how it goes. I'm fucking hyped. I don't know why I'm extra hyped. It's just that like, 
I actually truly believe this could be it. I made 25 G's on the last product. This one is going to be even more. I don't wanna make the video too long because it's just the intro. It's already five fucking minutes. So we'll keep you guys updated on the fucking store. All right, guys. So I just made one of the ads and I am hyped to fucking show you. This is definitely my best work ever. Usually I gray hat, which means I usually just take someone's ads and just tune it up a bit. But this time I actually edited a bit myself. I added the insecure hook at the beginning, added the best music possible, added some nice text. It is a masterpiece. If this flops, if this flops, I don't know what else will fucking work. But let me show you guys the yeah, ad quick. This worked way better than I expected it to. Look how defined that came out. This is the curl defining brush of my dreams. Oh my gosh. The results are too good. I told y'all the definition goes crazy with this. Super easy to use this brush. This looks so good. See how these curls are all nicely clumped. And then this side of my hair, which I didn't do yet, it's not clumped and it's going to dry a lot more frizzier. Super easy to use this brush. I also like that it evenly disperses the product throughout your hair versus the Denman brush doesn't quite do that. Like, what? It's the most defined that I've ever seen my curls because why? Because brushes matter. Shake it up. Look at those curls. Those are looking so good. You have to admit, my curls look so defined, so frizz-free and juicy, and I'm loving it. This brush just might be the next best thing for us curly hair girls out there. Bro. <laughs> Tell me that ain't a fucking beautiful ad. Come on. Give your boy some credit. That shit's amazing. I can't wait to, like, have this whole YouTube video put all up together. But it might be a while because I think I'm making bank with this. I think I'm absolutely... Bro, I'm hyped. I don't know. I have like... Like... I don't know. I, I just... I, I believe in it so much. I fucking believe in it. That shit's amazing. Anyways, I'll keep you guys updated on when I make the ads in the ads manager. Alright. So I've been grinding. I've been grinding. And... I just posted all my ads. Now this may sound crazy, but for a test, I think I'm spending close to $300, like 250. I'm only doing this because I know it's a very good product. I know it's like, I'm very sure of it. And the reason why I'm spending so much is because I'm doing all the ad platforms. So I did on TikTok, a CBO test and an ABO test only to the US because I don't have uh, an agency account. Then I did Snapchat. I did a CBO to the US and a CBO to the top, the other five countries. So it was UK, Australia, Sweden, Germany, and New Zealand. And I did the exact same thing from TikTok to Snapchat. So, uh, no, sorry, from Snap chat to Facebook so I got all the ad, I got all my ads running and I'm I really I really hope this works out well because there's so much potential there are so many creatives and not only are there so many creatives but there's so many creatives that I have room to edit and to be creative so it leaves me a large large room to to keep making new creatives, to scale. And I'm very excited, honestly. Now, I might take a little break because I'm fucking exhausted. But what I'm going to do is before they all start running tomorrow, I'm going to optimize the website a bit. Like I'm really putting a lot of time and energy into this because, again, I truly believe it's going to do well. So... My website's already up and it's all good. Like everything's ready to run. It's just that like, I want to tweak little things to make it even better. Like adding maybe a upsell product bundle of like a hair product. I want to make sure the images are all beautiful, like beautiful. I'm going to go through all my copywriting and make sure that it, 
It all makes sense. It's all good. It's very persuasive. All of it. I'm going to fucking to the T, bro. I'm putting details into this. I'm going to add more probably um, reviews, like a bunch of shit. But for now, I've been working on this all day because I had to make sure like I get all this done. So I might take a little break and um, I'll keep you guys updated on how the ads start performing. I'm not going to go too much in details of like the day to day, because again, if this is something I'm scaling, like I'll be running this product for probably months. So you probably, I'm not going to give you it every single day for months, but again, at the end of the day, we'll see how this performs. I'll keep you updated on the first day if it's a botch or not. And I just wasted all my money and time, but it is what it is. I'm very excited. Now we get to just uh, relax a bit more. All the work's done. And there's always more work to be done. So, but we'll take it at a slower pace now. No more stressing. I was stressing like trying to get everything ready up and done. Everything is more or less said. I could run it and I'll, I'll still be pretty confident. I just want to do a little bit more. A little bit more is always better. The extra step, the extra mile, always a little bit better could get you those results that you want. So I'm excited. I'm going to leave you guys, keep you guys and see you guys on the next update. So an update on the store, the product. I completely forgot about this video. I'm going to be honest. It's day two. Yesterday was the day I ran my ads, the first day I ran my ads. So let me keep you guys updated on what's happening. So yesterday I ran a shit ton. Like I told you, I kind of went heavy budget in and it kind of backfired just a bit. Only a few things worked and they weren't that like they were good, but not really promising. So I shut off basically everything. And all I have right now is focusing on the $50 CBO on TikTok. And um, yesterday I got a sale. So again, like I said, it was okay, but not promising. So I gave it a day. And now we're a bit more than halfway through the day and still got nothing. Now, obviously, you know, we still have the rest of the day for it to get the sale or get even two, two would be, two would be honestly actually thinking about it. Now, I know this is a bit off the top of the head, but the reason why it did well, the row ads was still good yesterday because the budget was spread out to all the other ads. Now I have one winning, winning ad completely with the $50 budget. So technically in order for this to be promising, this would need at least three sales, three sales. That would, that would make it at least under a $20 cost per action. And that wouldn't even be the best. I would need three, four, you know, like, and it hasn't got one yet. It's 1.30 PM. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit like worried. But the thing is, I'm not giving up on it right away. I've learned my lesson. I don't give up right away on a product. I know a lot of people push that you should, if you get nothing, move on. But all the ad metrics are very promising. My CTRs, my cost per clicks, my add to carts are all very good. It's just conversions. So I need to tweak up my offer. And you can turn just by these little tweaks, just by analyzing this, that all the other ad metrics are good but your conversion rates are bad, you could tweak the offer and then make yourself profitable. So don't give up on the product right away. Um, <clears throat> so after, I, right now I'm at the gym, after I get to the gym, after I'm done with the gym, sorry. After I'm done with the gym, I'm gonna go home, try to tweak up the offer and run it for tomorrow and see if tomorrow is any different. If not, tomorrow would be definitely the last day I give this product a shot and then this video is short. <laughs> I move on. But it's the name of the game. Don't stress about it. Trust in the process. See you next. See you the next time I update you. I really suck at this. I don't even. I don't even know what day it is. I think third day. Third day. Uh, product's done. I've gotten less than a handful of sales. Um, it was really bad, really, really bad. I'm fucking hyped. I don't know why I'm extra hyped. It's just that like, I actually truly believe this could be it. I made 25 G's on the last product. 
this one is going to be even more. I can't wait to like have this whole YouTube video put all of it together. But it might be a while because I think I'm making bank with this. I think I'm absolutely well, I don't know. Like, I'll be running this product for probably months. So you probably I'm not gonna give you it every single day for months. Within the three days, I tried a lot. I put a lot of work into it. I redesigned the whole website from like the aesthetics to the copywriting. I changed offers four times because all the metrics were good. CPCs, CTRs, all of it were good. The only thing was CPMs. CPMs were really, really high. And at the end of the day, it was a pretty saturated product before I got my hands on it, so. That's it. I really suck at this, I, I suck. I suck at this. Not only do I suck in fucking job shipping, but do I suck at recording. I, um, I, I just keep forgetting that I'm doing this and I didn't show you guys anything. Took down the website, took down the ads, officially done. But, hey, you move on. And I wanna say that no one fucking does this. Like, no, like, I'm not even trying to hype myself up. Because trust me, I don't want to be fucking showing my failures. But no one does this on YouTube. No one shows the fucking downs. All, everyone shows the ups. Because obviously that's what gets the views. That's what creates this aura around. The, but nah, bro. I'm trying to be fucking straight up. I'm trying to be real. It's part of the game, right? I took three days to test it because there was promising results. Still didn't get anything. So you move on. That's how life is. And look, I already found my next product. I'm going to move on. Simple as that. Thank you for watching, though. I really hope that um, showing my failures eventually will pay off in the future. Showing you guys that, like, this is what it takes. And showing the true, authentic version of me. Showing my failures. It's a humiliating point in my life right now, but obviously things will get better. Anyways, thank you for watching. It may not seem like it, but the train is leaving fast. <laughs> and we're gonna be at the top soon. So I'll see you there.